Okay, in this example with uh, VB, what we're going to create is a small invoice. The invoice is going to have some uh, preset drop downs and is going to calculate the unit price for each object and the cost, the total quantity, the sub quantity, the subtotal, uh, the postage value if that changes, and an invoice total. There's a print button on here too. Okay, I've not set up any validation on either the customer name up here or the customer address here. What we have in the four <coughs> is four rows uh, of computer unit price, quantity, and cost. The computer is a drop-down box. If I look at the if you look at the properties over here on the right-hand side, you can see I've called them all what one, what two, what three, and what four. This makes it easier to program later on. The drop-down style for each of these is a drop-down list. This forces um, whoever's entering the data to use the variables that are contained within the drop-down box itself and not be able to enter their own one. The other property that I've set on here is the um, list itself. If we come down here, we're going to, oh yeah, the items. In the items, you can see that I've put in four very basic computer type items. Okay. The unit price column, in the unit price column it's a simple text box. The text box remains read only. This is so that we can put our own values into there dependent on what's chosen in the box to the left of it. Similarly the cost box. The cost boxes are all text as well and they <coughs> their value is calculated dependent on what quantity and which computer has been chosen. I've called all the cost boxes cost 1 to 4 and all the unit price boxes unit 1 to 4. The quantity is a uh, drop down combo box in the same way as the computer one is and they're set up in the same way. That is, um, the drop down list is set to drop down list only so that p people can only pick values that are in the list, they can't put their own in. Although with the quantity it's not such a big deal. The other thing that we have is a total quantity box. This is just a text box. This will be automatically fed, as will the subtotal. The postage is slightly different in that I've already put a, uh, a um, text value in there of 25.00, representing £25. All of the price boxes have been have had their text uh, right shifted, such that or right aligned rather such that anything that gets entered in there gets put on the right hand side in the same way as any currency would.